future. Future. Let me tell you about the future. Are you from the future? Help, help, I am from the future. My future ball stopped working and I need to return to my people. Ah, I can see that you are a fellow future person. In the future, you will die. Want me to read your future? I can do, I can do that right now. You will die. It's me, your great grandson. Get your hands off me, I'm from the future. You don't understand, there was a mistake on the mission brief. I saved baby Hiller and I hit Sarah Connor with my car. Oh no, I'm sleepy. Oh, it worked. I'm back. Anyway, a gun. Bang, 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 bang. This and more on In The Field. Did you see that video where it's like metaverse shopping in Walmart? I didn't see that. Are they bringing banality to the digital world? Howdy. Thanks for visiting Walmart. I will be your shopping assistant module today, but you can call me Sam for short. Ugh, that gets way worse. She immediately turns into a hall monitor. Your age has already been pre-verified through your profile. You can buy, it's been verified through your biometric blood analysis. Are you sure you want that? What are they gonna do? Like, so the thing is, if you were too young to buy it, this would instantly become, how do I figure out how to like break the game? You know what I mean? There'll be yeah, people yeah, lying, oh, lying yeah. down in their VR suits to get behind the yeah. map. And yeah, you gotta get three of your friends together to stand on top of each other in VR, <laughs> so you're like, oh, your height has been verified, it's 17 feet. You must be clearly old enough to buy this wine. <laughs> Immediately, you hear um, the summoning salt music. Yeah, so I beat Walmart in 36 <laughs> seconds, 0.27. Start here with the wall glitch, and then you buy 1.6 million <laughs> gallons. Do you like the backward, backwards <laughs> cart jump to speed up your fucking it's glitching it. through the ground? Yeah. So as you can see here, I've uh, refunded 9 million packets of cat food and it's all <laughs> gone directly into my bank account. Uh, a I Amazon <laughs> price matched at record speed. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. You know what I love about this whole thing is it's like, isn't this just Amazon.com with extra steps? Yeah. And with this like annoying lady <laughs> who's <laughs> preventing you from like listening no, to music yet. or whatever in the background. She's just like... We've already pre-measured your penis. We've determined your condom size is small. I noticed you bought nacho cheese Doritos. Would you like me to warp you to the nacho cheese aisle? <laughs> Don't worry, I'll do it anyway. It gets way dumber. It looks like you already have a full gallon of milk at home. Should we put this one back? Ooh, we take rationing very seriously here at Walmart. Looks like you're headed off to the Walmart Digital Jail. <laughs> yeah, the refrigerator's locked in. Don't worry, we've got a coupon for your bail. The tone and everything of like having to talk to this robot. Talking to robots is never gonna work. It's always just, fu get the fuck I, out yeah, of my face. You don't have much to relate about. Mm. Oh, what do you do? Sit in cold silence all day? Oh, are you alive? Like, do you feel? Yes, I am sentient. I don't believe you. Wait, 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 wait. That's the end. <laughs> this is a really good example of people getting stuck thinking about the future with the present. They're like, mm. the future will be like going to a Walmart store, but in your VR headset. <laughs> it, no, in reality, it's just like a mm. microchip in your brain that's spiking fucking neurotransmitters to get, <laughs> get you to do what it wants. That's really what's gonna happen. I've added the surface charge to your car. Oh my God. Now for the fun stuff. Oh, that wasn't the fun stuff? To electronics. Ugh. Instead of just opening a web page, oh, right, here's the thing with the stuff. Instead, you have to go through this rigmarole of being into the shop. You have to get back to the electronic store. And as you do that, every time she does this stupid fucking line. And now <laughs> onto the fun stuff. The, yeah, 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 skip, skip, skip. <laughs> Where'd your cart go? All your shit just bashing around. It's like, don't worry, nothing will be damaged. I think you can even hear the bottle break. So, oh my god, yeah, wait, all of your items will come to you delivered exactly how <laughs> fucked up they were in this simulation. What, did they shoot it out of a cannon and make a big-ass hole in your house? If they had, like, VR cam girls, yeah. and they're like, you know what, I'll be your girlfriend for the day, and then they will go shopping with you at virtual Walmart, but they'll just be, like, nude the whole time, or even not, and then she's just, like, nice to you and shops with you all day. Uh, I swear I saw this, like, marked down $5 at Target. <laughs> Honest opinions on like, nah, those those shorts don't look good on you, and like, <laughs> yeah, fuck, yeah. that'll be great. Let's go. I think we'll find something better at Men's Warehouse. I'll go with you. Don't worry. But then Men's Warehouse is only like half constructed. It's still. Oh. If I could get the Cartoon Herald avatar, then just go shopping with people. That would be brilliant. See, that'd be like the one cameo thing worth doing. Yeah, no, finally something to look forward to when I'm living in the pod. Progress is not just technology or politics. 
for example, this is true progress because no. they could have had stalls back in the day. Yeah. They really could have. Just a little dividing wall. But instead, they decided never shit alone. Okay, I have a theory about this. We come across this and we go, amazing. <laughs> Not only did the Romans have indoor plumbing, but they shed together like a bunch of degenerates. But you go back in, in time and they, they actually were walls there that, would, that are just eroded. But we just yeah. assume they were all a bunch of barbarians. And it's like you go back and the guy's like, what? You think we just all shat looking at each other eye to eye? What are you, crazy? <laughs> what do you think the custom is? Like, you never sit right next to the other guy who's shitting when it's completely yeah. empty. It's basically urinal rules, except much more important. What is with this... Like keyhole shape. That's so you can get to your ass with the stick. Oh, of course. And it's been bathing all day in salt and vinegar solution. Which, well, like a bag of chips. That's what they did. They would put the sponge, the communal sponge. I don't believe in the communal sponge. Because here's what would happen. It'd be used twice, then someone would accidentally drop it down the hole. And then you'd need a fresh sponge. That's why you don't believe in it? By two weeks in, everyone would go, I want the fresh sponge. Whoops. And deliberately drop it down. Yeah, I, I want to know how they make this inference. Maybe they analyzed the sponge and found different types of diarrhea on it. Like, this came from four different people. <laughs> oh, my God. Therefore, <laughs> yes. <yeah, it's> <laughs> it turns out it was a, it was a toilet wiping sponge. <laughs> so it's like... The janitor who cleaned it? Yeah, right. <laughs> All right, here's something that I reckon the future is going to get wrong about our present. In your underwear, right, often it's got that kind of flap and there's like a kind of a hole at the front. Yeah, and yeah. And so the idea is you could actually poke your dick out there and, and... Yeah, well, that's the idea. No one does that. The danger of accidentally pissing all over yourself is enormous. Why would you risk it? But in the future, they will see these holes in the front of our underpants and go, ah, they used to poke it out the front in order to whiz. So I think a decent amount of people do that. No. I bet you if you put that out, there's going to be tons of comments like I do that. I've never met one. See, this is you're already making the kind of historical inference right. and we're in the day and age. Oh, I've got one more. Ad time. I used to be a bad person, like you, until I discovered the browser extension. Tab for a call. Link in the description. It's so simple, fellas. You get the browser extension and your homepage displays this little ad on the bottom right. And every time you open a tab, boom, it generates about one tenth of a cent. It's not much, but think about how many tabs you open every day. Then add that up over millions of people using the browser extension and you suddenly, you're generating millions for charity. You can even select the charity that you want to support. I like Team C's because they're busy removing all the plastic that mysteriously ends up in the ocean. <laughs> Got a little greedy there, didn't you, fella? And the Nobel Peace Prize goes to... Holy shit, that guy. It's, well, it's about time. So, go to the link in the description. Get the tab for a cause browser extension. Did I mention it's free? You don't Shame. want to be a bad person, do you? Why not be a good person? Tab for a cause. It's a low effort, free and convenient way to undo all the dickish things you do on a daily basis. And ironically, you know when you see someone post and it says like, I think kids in Africa should have food and it gets 100,000 likes. It's that level of effort, but you're actually doing something. Add over. Have you seen pyramids? I've seen pyramid. It originally looked like this. It was white and it had a gold top, right? Yeah, I mean, this is your personal account. There are so many things you can do with something as big as that and smooth as that. And number one is a big slide. You know what I mean? And uh, you're just making a assumption that it was not that? That would have been the best rite of passage for the Egyptians. Like, okay. A ride of passage, perhaps. Hey! Oh. You can't do it with the Aztec one. It's all steps. Bump, 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 bump the whole way down. I always wondered if, like, you went to the past and you, like, just talked to one of the people who made these things. They're like, what? <laughs> this? We made this because we just had to displace a lot of sand and we wanted to do it. Yeah. We were digging a big hole and this is just the pile. Yeah. The, you, what do you mean? The hole's not there? The, what happened to the... The hole is gone? The great hole of Giza. I knew it. It was the Assyrians. <laughs> God damn it. They were always jealous of our hole. They came here and they filled it in, didn't they? Oh, fuck me. Yeah. That's brilliant. <laughs> it's, yeah. And we're like, it was meant to point to the stars. See the bits on the side? Is that supposed to be hair? Well, it's a headdress for one, so it's just meant to be ornate. But to me, it looks like a like when a cobra like uh, rears up. Oh! And it has a snake on the top of his head, so I figured it was a cobra. That makes perfect sense. Yeah, I never really thought about. What, okay, what's what's up with the beard then? Because that's a lady. Is that a lady? 
Well, yeah. That's for the pharaoh, isn't it? Yeah, but it's a she. The sphinx is a lady. Is it? Are you sure? I mean, I... Which is a woman. Oh, oh excuse oh, me. Unlike the, the, the Greek Sphinx. That's a that's the the Greek Sphinx, uh, typically shown as a woman. Egyptian Sphinx, Chad. I always thought it was a woman. Yeah, I mean, look at the makeup. No, you're. It's just his beautiful lips that you dream about kissing. Yeah, but the giant beard might have given you a clue. How would you feel if you were the one who had to chisel like the boobs onto a Greek Sphinx? That would be awesome. Like your your job is to chisel gigantic boobs out of the side of a mountain face. Hey. You, you gotta pretend you don't like it. You gotta be like, oh man, no, that job. I'd like nestle between them and be like. <laughs> <laughs> it starts to break apart on its own weight, so they have to construct a giant bra. <laughs> you are charged with motorboating a crack into the rock face. How do you plead? <laughs> I did it, I fucking did it. <laughs> and I'd do it again. All right, well, let's Google a bunch of rites of passages then. Here, this is the list of the 25 craziest rites of passage. Oh wait, here's a good one. The Okrika tribe of Nigeria believe that young women form romantic relationships with water spirits during their childhood. To end their love affair with the water spirit and get married, young women must perform the era ritual. The era ritual consists of singing songs by the river for days on end, during which the river makes one last attempt to capture their lover. Damn girl. And then they are rescued by their suitor husband. Oh, shit! That's really sweet. I like that. Do you ever think uh, they get like a text? I know you are talking <laughs> still to that water spirit. I know it is him. I picked up your phone the other day. It was dripping. <laughs> I saw a number I did not recognize. I pick it up. I put it to my ear and I'm hearing the ocean. You are still in love with him. Four times a day, you are getting water from the yeah. well. <laughs> you only sang by the river for four days. You said you are tired. I know it is because you love him. That's not sweat on your collar. <laughs> <It's, laughs> you know what? It is true. Is that the water spirit coming from behind? Puts his arm around your girl. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love the idea of this boyfriend is jealous of yeah, the river. Yeah. What does that mean then if you're like washing your ass in the river? If she drinks a glass of water, mm. Mm. you know, it's like he's inside mm. her. You just gonna <laughs> let that stand? Okay, all right, moving on, moving on. Yeah. Three. Foot binding? Well, I wouldn't want that to happen to me. Hold on, I actually got a theory about foot binding. Yeah. Supposedly, it's supposed to make the women look more dainty, you know, small feet, all that sort of thing. But... Look at the beauty and the grace, like a ballerina. Ugh. The other idea is. Have you noticed that if you bend the foot like this, you essentially get something much more akin to a hand. And if you put two of those together, you, well, you could imagine what might happen if the emperor happened to be into feet. Is this... Do you sort of, do you sort of <laughs> I, understand it? I'm completely lost, but I'm entranced. It's about 11 p.m. on a Tuesday night, whatever. He's had a couple drinks. Yeah. The emperor comes in. He loves feet. And he's like, Whoa. You're saying the emperor would have a foot fetish? Yeah, it's a hand. Dude, look down there. That looks like Patrick Star. <laughs> it does look like Patrick Star. <laughs> SpongeBob, <laughs> how'd they do this? To I can't do a Patrick impression, apparently. SpongeBob, you're gonna be late for your job at the Krabby Pen. Come on, SpongeBob. I'm gonna be late for the emperor to fuck my face or whatever. <laughs> I want to be able to print a steak. Yeah. No, well, they're already doing that. They're trying to make, like, lab-grown meat. Yeah. But they're like, look, we're almost there. The only problem is every time someone tastes it, they go, <coughs> yuck! I'd rather kill myself! Get me out of this facility! I didn't consent to this. It's funny. When you look at all these food shortages, <laughs> Yeah. there's always one section that doesn't have any shortages, <laughs> and it's all this vegan shit down here. <laughs> it's true. It reminds me of that like morning television show where mm. the lady brought her dog on and she was like, trust me, she's vegan. And then they brought out, they're like, let's put it to the test. <laughs> and they put out like a bowl of meat and a bowl of like vegetables. And the dog just like <laughs> yanked the chain and immediately just started eating the, the meat like it <laughs> never seen it before. <laughs> yeah. Is there any bigger condemnation <laughs> of your product than people would rather die than eat it? <laughs> Food shortages. Food shortages. Who's leaving the one bread? Who's leaving the one? Is that, okay, there's something wrong with this, or? No, that's what I want to ask you, right? You're in the store, right. everything's gone. Oh my God. All right, you need to eat. You walk up to the bread aisle, you glance side to side, there it is, there's that one bread right there, see that? Why is it left there? There's probably nothing wrong with it, right? 
Uh, you gonna grab that bread? Everybody's got the exact same bias. Yeah. What's wrong with this one piece? There's probably nothing wrong with that bread. It probably it probably get you through the uh, the night because you are hungry. What could have possibly happened to what it? What could have happened to that bread? Yeah, <laughs> I think I would grab it, but then what I would do is probably like skin the whole bread, and then I would only eat whatever's in the center skin of it. Skin the whole bread? Yeah, you know, get rid of all the crusty bit on the outside, because, oh, someone's probably reached their hand and fooled around Literally, with it. who says skinning bread? We call that removing the crust. You absolutely, is there something wrong no, with it? Pretty much the whole world says skinning bread, except for Americans who are like, uh, I'll have a drink of pop, please. I've got something for you on pop. Yeah. It's no longer just good enough to have regular soda pop, okay? It's got to have like a twist. I'm not sure who started this. Maybe it was Coke mm. with like vanilla Coke or Crystal Pepsi, whichever one came first. Yeah. And you know, even milk's getting into this with chocolate milk now. <laughs> well, Can you believe this? Well, it's, so it's called Crystal Pepsi. Yeah. And that's like the see-through Pepsi. Yeah. They were like, take out the additive that makes that artificial coloring and just give it to them what it actually is. And people said, no, no, that's what it is. I'm not drinking that. <laughs> Put back the carcinogenic <laughs> coloring. Do you reckon that Pepsi is naturally colored? Do I reckon? I've never thought All they about did it. was take out the food coloring. That's what it is. Oh, it's got one less ingredient. Yeah. Give me a discount. Then. It just proves how unnatural it is. I still drink it, though. I figured they basically did this. <laughs> I don't, I'm sorry. This was somewhere yeah. on your mind and it somehow related to Crystal Pepsi. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, I don't know what you mean, mate. Naturally, it's all brown because it's just brown and water. And then you pour it in the oyster tank and they filter it out. <laughs> Wait a minute. You're telling me you thought... I'm not telling you that that's what I thought. I'm telling you that's definitely what happened. <laughs> you know, sometimes when people talk about, like, dissolving a dead body and flushing it down the toilet, I reckon that would be really difficult to do. Define difficult. So one time I clogged a toilet. Oh, we got to go backwards more. So I really no, I really need no, no, no. Yeah, give me the give me the groundwork. I see where you're heading. <laughs> okay, this okay. one time I was living in this really shitty apartment. And I didn't have a clothes washer. And so I had to go all the way to a laundry mat. Now, at one point, I ran out of towels. And I thought, well, I still need to shower. So instead, I took with me into the bathroom a whole roll of handy paper towels. Now, when I got out of the shower, I dried myself with all these paper towels. And it worked a treat. And I thought, I am a genius. Yeah. And then what I proceeded to do was throw those paper towels into the toilet which was not as ingenious of a move well you win some you lose some okay not everybody be on all the time <laughs> so what happened was the toilet was thoroughly clogged and i thought oh you know it'll pass it'll no. it'll it'll decompose over time it's so for about a week the, it'll decompose <laughs> for about a week the toilet was like completely clogged so then you got a plunger, right? Or you just stamped it down with your foot or just anything other than whatever you're probably going to tell me next? I tried all sorts of things. So at first I was like, oh, I'll just put some cat litter down. I had a cat. I'll put some cat litter down. That'll help. What just the fuck? Push it, right? You're not sounding like you know much about toilets. <laughs> no, because the cat litter will dissolve. So <laughs> worst case scenario, you're fine. Now, now that didn't... How will that help, That though? didn't... Well, well no, it, it didn't help in the answer. You're like, uh, toilet, uh, cat poop, uh, litter, uh, put it in. I tried a plunger. That did not work. I tried boiling hot water, poured down the toilet. That also did not work. And so eventually, I thought, okay. So basically, it was a psychotic break. I thought, I can call a plumber, and I've got no idea when they'll come out. I don't know how much I'll pay them, and I can't be bothered. And this cat litter's right here. Yes. I will go the nuclear option, and I will go and buy a bottle of sulfuric acid that's used for melting and smoothing concrete, uh, and instead pour that down the toilet. It's incredible if you buy one of these things because like, you open the cap and you can feel the acidity of the thing. Like if you start pouring it out, really? you will actually feel the hairs in your nostrils react to it. Oh. It's incredibly corrosive, yeah. incredibly dangerous. So bring that into your house. Yeah. Uh, by the way, that didn't unclog the toilet at all. And instead... <laughs> okay, that's what I was waiting for. A, a little bit got on the toilet seat and left a permanent mark. And so are we going to get like a moral to the story or you promised me we were just going to be sticking to talking about the future? I'm tired of having my methods questioned. I want to question you. Okay. Let's do some Q&A with John Tron. Hardballs, question time, truth, and facts. Yeah. Okay. Is that Jordan Peterson? Uh, l listen, listen, I'm the one asking the questions around here. <laughs> I heard that you have a wife. Is that true? That's, do you care to comment? Um, That's true. 
That's true, yeah. How traditional of you. How, yeah. A conservative, someone might say. Yeah, I mean... I couldn't help but notice that your middle name is Aryan. Is that owing to your pure white heritage? <laughs> You're fucking with me, right? This isn't a real thing. <laughs> You're such a bastard. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, no, that's really my middle name. Got him. And it is a Persian name. It's pronounced Aryan. Persian. You see, the Indo-Aryans, oh. the Yamnaya people... Uh, is are... that made up? No. <laughs> Look it up. yum Okay, so the, the Yamnaya people, not yum <laughs> Is that them? <laughs> That's them. And the ones who went west became the Europeans, and the ones who went east became the Persians. Iran actually means land of the Aryans, but it's not oh meant... Oh, my God. It's, yeah, I know, I know. You can't make oh, it up. Oh, it's just going from bad to worse. It what derives you... from, like, the third century Sasanian Middle Persian Iran. Are you reading the Wikipedia? I am now, uh, but I wasn't before. <laughs> uh, anyways. I wasn't really listening to that explanation. I'll just, I'll just shortcut and say racism. Um. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you proud of yourself? <laughs> you proud of yourself? You smiling ear to ear? Listen, listen. I'll I fucking thought dox I'm, I'm, you right I'm now. here just to give the fair interview. Just to, just to oh, lay out the Oh, that's what this is, the interview? <laughs> this is just a fair, <laughs> balanced interview? Look, there's no need to be so aggressive, John. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even ask me my favorite, like, food dish or anything. What kind of interview is this? What is your favorite food dish? The crayon green. I like the way it looks. <laughs> I heard yeah. that you're dead. <laughs> you. You promised you wouldn't go down this route. Okay, we had a chat before. <laughs> it was the one question that you, was off It was limits. the one you knew. And don't tell me you forgot. Are we still in the interview? Have I walked out of the studio yet? Let me ask you this. Yes. Can you grow a full beard or is this part wow. of... The, wow. the John Tron character. Wow, that's all I've fucking got. That's all I've got, I-H. Am I not allowed to ask you about the beard? I just feel attacked. All right, I won't ask you about the beard then. What's the worst question you get during interview? This one. This one. <laughs> You've scored number one. <laughs> all right, let me ask you then. Where do you get the inspiration for your videos? You know what? <laughs> I... You know what? Where do I get the inspiration? Man, I'm not like... Fuck you, I'm not... In. You're not gonna... Are you putting these interview bits in? All right, well, thanks for coming to the Channel 4 interview. I hope that was perfectly balanced and fair. Channel 4, that's all I get? Well, the other three were busy. That's the end of the video. Uh, we also have another collaboration coming out in a few weeks on JonTron's channel. Also, I have another channel called Story Mode. It's a different type of content. You might like it. It ain't that different from the rest of the things I do. I've only got one idea. And do not forget about Tab for a Cause.